This update is going to be insane. This is stuff from yesterday. And then this, yes, all this right here, yes, pl plus that thing on the end there, is stuff from today. Yesterday, today. Yeah, this, this is going to take a while. So, I'm not even going to do any introduction. We are just going to get right down to it. So here we go, guys. First up, we'll start off with the stuff that I got yesterday. So here we go. Yep, this is a Thorn EMI video release. Got a tan lid on it. And label. The print in the ninth week of 1985. This one looked very interesting, so I figured I'd pick it up. This is from a company called TV One Television Productions. And it's distributed by MediaCast Television Entertainment Limited. does have the recording tab, so I will remove it. Up. Oh. There you go. I thought this one looked pretty cool as well, so I thought I'd get it for the collection. No, yeah, no print down here. And the tape does appear to have a bit of mold on it, unfortunately. Hopefully, hopefully it'll play okay, but with some uh, minor damage. And yeah. This is still sealed. This was originally five. This was originally a Walmart 596 title. Yep, 
This is a uh, good times print. Yep. All right. We're going to get this out of the uh, shrink wrap. And looks like they're... Well... Yeah, looks like there's already a little bit of an opening right there. So we're just going to get the rest of the... We're just going to tear into that little part right there and get the rest of the shrink wrap off. All right. Has the recording tab, so I will break it off once again. There we go. So, yep. And, of course, we all, we all know what this has at the end, since it's a good times tape. Full name screening, this is a full name screen copy. got somebody's address sticker on the uh, side. Top has no writing on it. And the back. Which the back doesn't have very much info. Just these. Couple film critiques and... Says coming in June on video cassette and laser disc. I love, I love that it mentions a uh, laser disc on the, uh, on the back here. That gives you an idea of... The time period that this, the time period that this movie, that this uh, VHS came out. Yep, I also have the MGNUA movie time VHS of this film. March twenty eighth, nineteen ninety one, and it's even got that same address sticker on the uh, tape right there. Put the tape. I almost put the tape back in uh, backwards. So there we go. Next up is one of two Hail Roach Studios class classics tapes that I got uh, this past uh, weekend. Yep. You guys may remember uh, back in a. Uh, uh, 2014, I used to have this exact release of this uh, movie, and then I got rid of it because I got the uh, Good Times Family Classics double feature VHS that features this movie plus I uh, can't remember what the uh, other movie was. Oh, uh, My Man Godfrey. <laughs> See, I got the double feature Family Classics uh, Good Times VHS of this film and uh, My Man Godfrey, so I donated my original copy of this tape. But now that I'm trying to get all the uh, Hero Studios uh, award quality movie greats that releases with the poster art, um, I'm glad to have another copy of this tape finally again. And I do also have the uh, Columbia Tristar uh, Columbia Classics uh, release of this uh, film as well. Yep, this movie is in the public domain, but Columbia Troy Star did release a uh, Columbia Classics VHS of this film, which I do have. So yeah, very cool to have this uh, tape, this copy of this movie back in my uh, collection. And like I said, this is one of two Hero Studios uh, Classics tapes I got today. 
and the other one you guys will see in a few minutes. Well, wait, well, much later on in the uh, update video. This is a 1939 Columbia Pictures film. Yep. Okay. Even though I do have the uh, MGM uh, big box features of this film, I thought it'd be just I thought it'd be cool to have the uh, Western Legends print as well. And this is one of two MGM UA Western Legends tapes that I got today. The other one you guys will see much later in this uh, update. This is an MGM tape co-produced by United Artists. The film is from 1980. Contains the original theatrical trailer. January 29th, 2003, even though this is a 1998 VHS, so it's a much later reprint. And this tape also has a little bit of uh, mold on it. And... There you go. Ooh. That's, uh... Yeah, there's a bit of mold on this, unfortunately. But, again, hopefully, hopefully the tape will play fine, but with minor damage. Warner Brothers, this is a Warner Brothers Classics tape, and this one's a two-tape set. Nineteen sixty-one film. Special feature before the movie is the original theatrical trailer. This is part one, and this is part two. Um, and both tapes were printed on December 3rd, 2002. You know, this is a 1999 feature, so it's another later reprint. Ah. Hang on, guys. And the last features I got yesterday is a double uh, two-tape set, and it's this. Christmas Family Classics with songs sung by Bing Crosby. 12 Days of Christmas, Good King Winslet, Silent Night, and Santa Claus First Christmas. Yep, and this is still sealed, as you guys can see. This by a company called American Home Treasures. Alright. I'm going to get this out of the shrink wrap right now. Well that, well, that was relatively easy. Alright, so... Right, let's see if I can... Alright.
This is tape one, which has 12 Days of Christmas and Good King Winsilus. November 7th, 1996. And it looks like this tape is... Oh, wait. No, it's only 26 minutes, so... See, so yeah, I thought... I was gonna say... It looks like this tape might be an uh, EP mode, but it's only 26 minutes long, so... See, so yeah, it's probably not in uh, EP mode. It could be an LP mode, though, actually. But I don't know. And then... Here's tape two, which has Santa Claus, First Christmas, and Silent Night. November 6, 1996. <laughs> So one day before the first tape. And if I can get these, get this darn thing back in. So yeah, this is a very nice uh, Christmas set. Okay. So that's what I got yesterday. And, alright, just give me give me a few minutes and then I'll be back to show you guys what I got today. This, this is going to take a while, so give me a few minutes and I'll be back to show you what I got today. And now for the huge amount of stuff that I got today. I have one CD, one awesome surprise DVD, which you guys can probably tell what it is, and then all this VHS. This, this is going to take a while. This is definitely going to be an over an hour long video, I can already tell. Alright, we are going to go fast because there's a whole heck a lot to get through. Alright, here we go. First up, I'll show you this, the CD I got. This is J Jazzy Jolly Holiday Remixes You'll Love. Comes with a bunch of interesting uh, remixes of uh, classic Christmas songs. Like Bing Crosby Happy Holiday, Baby It's Cold Outside by Louis Armstrong and Velma Milton. It's also got people like Mahalia Jackson, Charles Brown. Yeah, a bunch of, like, remixes of uh, Christmas songs. There's the CD. So, yeah. I thought that would be a cool one to add to my, uh, to my uh, Christmas music collection. All right. So now, onto all these VHS tapes. Well, first up, I got a whole crap load of uh, recordable blank VHS tapes. Look at all these. I got one Kodak, one Polaroid, one JVC, three Maxells, and then a whole bunch of Memorex tapes. So yeah. So yeah, I got a whole bunch more blank tapes to uh, hopefully use sometime in the future. Okay. But now into some legitimate recorded, some actual uh, factory pre-recorded tapes. Start off with a few clamshells. You 
You want? You guys want to know why I got this one? Well, take a look. Take a look at the case on this one. Look at that. Look at the uh, design of the uh, case on this one. I have never seen a VHS with a case like this before. Look how big the uh, spindle thing is right there. Yeah, this is uh, this is one of the most unique uh, style uh, clamps I've ever seen on a uh, VHS tape. It's all like see-through and everything. So yeah, I just thought the uh, case on this one looked pretty neat, so that's the main reason why I got why I uh, got this one. It's got a sticker on here that says NTSC for use in USA, Canada, and Japan. And there is no print date. And I like on the uh, spine here. It's got a check check box thing for uh for PAL, NTSC, and SACAM. And they marked it and they check marked uh, NTSC. So yeah. So yeah, pretty cool VHS, and like I said, I just really like the uh, case on this one. It's it's different. And... Oh, what the heck? Okay, whatever. So... Yeah, very cool. Alright. Alright. On to, on to a couple more uh, clamshells. October 29th, 1994. This is the... So yeah, this is the uh, 1994 uh, pressing of this tape, which means this will most definitely be the the copy with the uh, spot short at the end. I do have the uh, soundtrack to this movie on a CD, and now I got the actual movie on VHS. <laughs> Of course, we all know what this has at the end since the Good Times tape. This is another great books on videotape for my collection. Nineteen forty-nine film, we do nineteen seventy-six. And this tape is from 1985. And it's got this little uh, card thingy. Whatever this is uh, for. So, yep. MG Way Home Video logo engraved on the uh, inside of the case. It's got a tan lid on there. And there does appear to be a print date underneath the uh, end label, but it's one of those ones where it's on a uh, sticker. So, so yeah, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna bother try peeling back the uh, end label since it's on, a, because it's on a sticker. There's a 90% uh, chance that it'll probably end up getting uh, ruined if I try to reveal the print date. So, see, so yeah, I'm not even gonna bother trying to reveal the uh, print on this uh, tape. So I'm just going to keep it as it is. Got a couple of foreign releases. This is a German release. 
And this is a 1937 uh, German film. If any of you guys know what the English title for this movie is, uh, please let me know in the comments below because, yeah, I've never heard of this film. Yep. And it's got an ad for other uh, German films put out by this uh, company. You guys can probably tell by these ratings, this is a Australian release. <laughs> yep. My first Roach Entertainment tape that I have. And so, yep. All right, now on to a whole crap load of slipcover tapes. MGM Movie Time tape. October 4th, 2000. I bet this one probably has the MGM means uh, great movies promo at the uh, beginning. I'd be willing to bet it probably does. Next is another. Uh, this is another uh, screener tape that I got this weekend. Of course, you know what to do when it comes to reading the info on these demo tapes. Dark sticker label on here. April tenth, two thousand one. Which mean which means uh let's see. Wait, hold on. So this tape did turn 18 uh, somewhat recently, like a, uh, about a couple weeks ago, and it's got the hologram uh, sticker on there, and judging by the amount of film that's in this tape, I think this might be one of those uh, Buena Vista demo tapes from the early 2000s that has a super long black screen at the end. Just like my demo tapes of uh, The Kid and uh, Dracula 2000. So yeah, this one looks like it might have a, a huge amount of uh, black screen at the end. Judging by the enormous amount of film inside this tape. See, so yeah, I'm going to check this to see how long the 
black screen is at the end of this tape. And I might put in the uh, comments section telling you guys how long it is. If I do get around to checking it. Spanish, this is the Spanish subtitled version. Rare sticker label copy. October 8th, 2003. Got a couple more Christmas ones to show you guys. Someone named Carl Carl McGuan used to have this tape, but now it's mine. Ooh. No print on this tape. It's got a bunch of inserts. Came with a uh, business reply card. A, uh, Gateway Films Vision Video, I guess, uh, catalog. And this, another, uh, mail-in business reply thing here. Got printings, but no print date. All right. This is a pretty cool compilation VHS of a bunch of uh, silent uh, Christmas shorts from the uh, early 1900s. <laughs> includes, and even includes the original 1910 uh, version of A Christmas Carol. So yeah, this has the, the first of the nine bajillion Christmas Carol uh, film adaptations that have been released. <laughs> Which is pretty cool that it has that. So yeah, this is like this is a this is gonna be a really cool VHS to watch uh, next uh, December. Alright, up next I got a bunch of, I, I got a whole bunch of uh, music related tapes. It's 
This tape has a little bit of mold on it, but it should still play okay. May 7th, 1998. <laughs> This is a Cheesy Shield tape, part of the uh, music genre. Boring Shield reprint tape. January 10th, 1998. And this tape is kind of damaged at the beginning. You guys see that? Yeah, look at that big uh, crinkle. Ugh. Luckily, it's at the only at the very uh, beginning of the tape. Hopefully, the uh, rest of the tape's not damaged. This is a Vestron tape, but the uh, logo is not listed, any is not pictured anywhere on the uh, the box. And do you guys see what that is? Yep, it's got those. Uh, it's got that white box with those uh, black letters and numbers in it. So, I think you guys can all guess what that probably means. Yep. This tape is an Avon copy, and uh, it's like it's got some dirt spots all over the uh, sticker label, which is... Yeah, the label's all kind of dirty and messed up, but... Yeah, hopefully I can, like, get those uh, spots off or something. But yep, this tape is an Avon copy. Print dates are February 4th and February 8th, 1990. And you can see, it says AVN right there. The front cover opens up like this. This is more reprise videotape. I do see a couple of printings underneath the end label. Uh, the one printing that I can kind of see right there is uh, I think it says October 24th, 1990. And let's see. Let's see. Can I can I peel back the end label to reveal? Oh, here we go. I was able to uh, peel back the uh, end label. The print dates are October 24th and October 25th, 1990. So there you go.
and hold on. On this one, the print date is printed like how it is on most newer 20th Century Fox tapes. And it's kind of hard to read, so let me get under the, the light here. Uh, maybe I can... Hang on, guys. I'm going to say September 3rd, 1998, because that's what it looks like to me. Alright. See, I'm going to say September 3rd, 1998 is the print date for this. All right. This is an old, this is a Hollywood video rental tape. And the cover is pretty uh, faded and kind of uh, beat up. So yeah, this is definitely an old uh, rental tape, but still nice to have for the uh, collection. Yep, it's got the Hollywood Video end label on there. This one looked pretty funny, actually. Yeah, this one looked pretty funny, so I figured I'd get it for the uh, collection. Acorn Media Tape. Comes with a business reply card. It's got these uh, printings, but once again, no print date. Oh, and it's also got those printings and stuff on the uh, top. Which, of course, never actually have a print date or even year code in them. It's got some writing on the back, actually.
All right. Up next, I got a whole bunch of the Fugitive Collectors Anthology uh, series. All these tapes pretty much look exactly the same, except the uh, cases are colored uh, differently. So, this one is volume 11. The episodes on this one are 10,000 Pieces of Silver, which originally aired October 11, 1966, and The Evil Men Do, which originally aired December 27, 1966. Volume 12. Episodes on this one are The Last Oasis, which originally aired September 13th, 1966, and Walls of Night, which originally aired April 4th, 1967. Volume 13. The episodes on this one are The Devil's Disciples, which originally aired December 6, 1966, and Run the Man Down, which originally aired January 3, 1967. Volume 14. Episodes are The Other Side of the Coin, which originally aired January 10th, 1967, and The One That Got Away, which originally aired January 17th, 1967. Volume 15. Nobody Loses All the Time, which originally aired November 22nd, 1966, and The Ivy Maze, which originally aired February 21st, 1967. And Volume 19. Passage to Elena, which originally aired March 7th, 1967, and Dozier on a Diplomat, which originally aired March 28th, 1967. So, yeah. <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> Alright. Wow, this is... I can already tell this is going to be my longest update video yet. <laughs> this one's still sealed. This one is the episode, The Bundle from Britain. Original air date for this episode was September 18th, 1960. Alright, let's get this out of the uh, shrink wrap now.
September 19th, 1997. Oh, and no, no advertisements inside. Oh, there we go. There we go. This comes with six movies. Rainbow Valley, The Trail Beyond, Angel and the Bad Man, Texas Terror, Rust of the Divide, and Paradise Canyon. Printings, but no print date. And this tape is an EP mode, since it has six movies on one tape. You guys can hear there's something rattling in there, and I'll explain that in a second. This film is from 1973, and this is a 1999 Vid America tape. Yeah, I think you guys can tell already. Later printing from August 11th, 1992. And yeah, unfortunately, the lid is broken. Well, not broken, it's just kind of come loose on this tape. You can see there was a uh, the uh, piece that's supposed to go into the little hole right there. Uh, it's unfortunately broken off. And so the lid just kind of pop, pops out like that. So yeah, this tape is kind of broken. But so yeah, hopefully I can uh, hopefully I will be able to, uh, fix this tape. Hopefully I can maybe put in another shell or replace the lid or something. But yeah, unfortunately this tape is kind of broken, but I am going to try and fix it. So, yeah. Oh, well. So yeah, I am going to, uh, I'm going to try to fix this tape. Alright. This is a Kino release. This is a 1959 uh, British movie, renewed in 1986, and this tape's from Nice Night 8. This tape was a former library uh, rental. Former rental from Hicksville Public Library. Yep, no print date. This is by a company called the Al Taylor Company and Water Scale Productions. RKO's big Christmas release from 1940. Long unseen, it was considered lost for over 40 years. So, yeah. And... It says 
uh, SP mode on the back, but this tape looks like it's an EP mode. It's judging by the amount of film in the uh, tape. And it's got the oversized reels. No print date. And uh, the case feels a lot more uh, slimmer than a... Uh, well, not slimmer, but more a uh, lot more lighter than uh, usual. But I do not believe this tape is a bootleg. It just... It's just that the case feels a lot more cheaper and lighter. Oh, I don't know what I don't know what that is. Nineteen thirty seven film. This is a nineteen eighty six good times tape. Tile is not on there, so I'm gonna write it on there. Has the recording tab, so I will of course break it off. So, so yep, this is one of the older Good Times tapes. So I'm gonna have to check this one to see if it has a black screen def at the end or if it has. Uh, something else at the end. Alright, so... Video Treasures Tape. New colorized version, 1957 film, 1987 tape. This is a public media home vision tape. Nineteen sixty film. This does have a day and year code. The three hundred twenty first day of two thousand. This is the Hallmark Home Entertainment print. Nineteen forty eight film, this is Night High Five each us. Thirty eighth week of Night High Five, and it does have a, a good barcode on there. And it says RVS. So this might have a white screen death at the end. I mean, I'd say the odds are, are slim because it's printed pretty late in night type 5, but since this RVS and that type of barcode, this might actually have something at the end. I mean, I'm not going to count on it, but I will, of course, check. Okay. Yo, I'm just going to... The, the the line of VHS tapes is so long that I'm, like, pressed up against my uh, bed right now. Okay. Next up is the other Halo Studios tape that I got, to, that I got this weekend.
This is another Hollywood video from a rental. Nineteen fifty two film, and this is a nineteen ninety two VHS. But this is a nineteen ninety three reprint. It's got the Hollywood video uh, end label, and it's also got this uh, this Hollywood video sticker as well. And another sticker right there too. 31st week of 1993. And there's what the barcode looks like on this tape. So obviously this one will have something at the end. This is the original Italian job. Yep, this is a Paramount slash gateway VHS. Yep, this is the original 1969 version of the Italian job. Of course, it's got the Master Sharp, the thing that tells you that it's in EP slash SLP mode. Yep, read G, and yeah. Yep, 1969 film, like I said. Originally 1992 VHS, but this copy is a 1998 reprint. And this copy has no end label on it, since it's a 1998 pressing. But it's actually printed in the 45th week of 1999. And this tape is in EP mode, so we all know what this will have at the end. And the cover's a bit ripped right there, but that's okay. Even though the case has the Fox Video logo on it, the tape itself actually has the CBS Fox Video logo on it. 14th week of 1994, good barcode. You may remember I picked up the uh, uh, soundtrack to this movie on a CD um, about three or so weeks ago. And now I have the actual movie to go along with the uh, CD soundtrack. Which, actually, the CD is soundtrack is right... There you go, it's right there. There, you can... Let me see if I can... There you go. There you go, you can see it. Right there. There you go. So yeah, that's the uh, soundtrack that I picked up a few weeks ago. And now I have the actual movie to go along with it. So that's cool. And yep, Boring Shield. Phones from 1981. August 25th, 1999. I also got another Boring Shield tape. This film is from 19... The film was originally released by Orion Pictures in 1979. But this VHS is by uh, Warner Brothers. And I believe this movie is now uh, out of print on a DVD, and only available on DVD-R through uh, Warner uh, Archives, through Warner, for Warner Brothers uh, Archive Collection. 
Yep. And it's got the recyclable logo right there. Yep. And does Outland have the recyclable logo too? I didn't even... Yep, it does. And does... Does Led Zeppelin have the recyclable logo as well? Yes. All right. Uh, Terminator 3 does not have the recyclable logo on it. Print dates are June 13th and June 15th, 2002. And the rails appear to have yellowed a bit on this tape, but... I'm sure the tape will still play perfectly. I'm sure, this I'm sure the tape will still play perfectly. Alright. We're at the home stretch, guys. Not going to go into too much more detail on. Not going to go into too much detail on some of the other tapes I'm about to show because I don't want this video to go on too long. Seventh week of 1992. Columbia Classics tape. Nineteen forty nine film review nineteen seventy six. Night Night Five tape. Sticker label says nineteen eighty seven on it for some unknown reason. Twenty six week of Night Night Five. Um I kinda looks like a good barcode. Not sure if this one will have anything will have anything at the end either. Nineteen thirty nine film review nineteen sixty seven. Even though I do have the Gene Shout Critics Choice VHS of this film, I still be cool to have the Marlene Dietrich collection VHS as well. To go along with my other Marlene Dietrich collection VHS tapes. Yep, I already mentioned what I already mentioned the year the film is from. Twentieth week of nineteen ninety six, even though this is originally a nineteen ninety three VHS. So this is obviously a much later reprint. Even though I do have the uh, the really cool uh, clamshell of this uh, release, which is actually right. Uh, here. Yep, it's right there. Even though I do already have the cool uh, clamshell VHS of this film, I figure I get the uh, slipcover release as well to go along with my other Universal Studios Classic Monster Collection releases. Yep, 1931 film. Includes a theatrical trailer. Thirty-first week of nineteen ninety-nine. Okay. Inglorious Black and White. This must be one of the very first Inglorious Black and White tapes ever produced because not only is the uh, the the uh, banner that says Inglorious Black and White really small on the front, but it does not have the uh, B&W uh, banner on the spines. 
So yeah, this must be one of the very first Inglorious Black and White tapes ever produced. Nineteen sixty four film. Nighttime one beach us. MGM tape co produced by Turner Entertainment. March twenty fourth, nineteen ninety seven. Next is Next up is the other MGM Western Legends tape that I got this weekend. Nineteen sixty nine film, two thousand VHS, contains the original theatrical trailer. August 29th, 2000. Okay. And up next, I got another M. Genuine Vintage Classic speech just for the uh, collection. Yep, I finally got the M. Genuine Vintage Classic speech just of Sergeant York. So I can finally retire my standard MGM beach as this film and keep this vintage classics printing instead. And I believe there's a key video of each as this film that, I'm, that I do want to get as well at some point. And, yep, 1941 film, and this is a 1999 VHS tape. MGM tape covers by Turner Entertainment. This, does not con this one does not contain the original fascicle trailer. And of course, uh, you know what to do if you want to read the facts from the vault. Yep. This one has a dark sticker label on it, just like my M. Genuine Vintage Classic VHS of uh, Jezebel, which is really cool. August 18th, 2000. So printed, so printed only um, 11 days before um, Guns of the Magnificent Seven tape was printed. Up next, I got two, uh, well, this next one's a two-tape set. This is Hollywood Animal Stars, a fun filled parade of the greatest animal moments ever recorded. Yeah, you can see there's uh, Babe, Benji, Black Stallion, and Lassie. Yeah, I, I didn't even know this tape existed until I found it. So yeah, this was like a really cool documentary all about the famous uh, animals of uh, Hollywood. Like you see, there's Dorothy and Toto. I'm guessing that's one of the uh, uh, birds from uh, Dr. Doolittle. Uh, Clint Eastwood and the uh, orangutan. That picture, and uh, that's also from Dr. Doolittle and uh, Free Willy. It's in color in black and white, and it's two hours, and it's from Passport Video. So yeah, this looks like a really good documentary. I might have to watch this. Here's Volume 1 and Volume 2. No print D on either two tapes, and these are both in EP mode. So yeah, and the last 
VHS I got before I show the one surprise DVD. This is a really cool VHS uh, box set that I got. This is... The Complete Dirty Harry VHS set. Yeah, this contains all five of the Dirty Harry films. Dirty Harry, Magnum Force, The Enforcer, Sun Impact, and The Deadpool. And you can see these are... And you can see all five of these are Cheesy Shield tapes. All part of the adult action genre. Here. I think it'd be easier if I do it this way. So yeah, this is a really cool uh, VHS uh, set. So I'll show you guys. Here's the front of it. Here's the front. Well, not the front, but this side of it. The other side, which is the same thing, except with a uh, different, uh, just a different uh, picture right there. Yep. Top, which has nothing on it. Bottom, this set was released in 1991. And there's the back of the set. So yeah, very cool set of all five Dirty Harry films. And now we're going to take a look at the individual tapes. <laughs> Here's Dirty Harry. Nighttime 2 VHS. Yep, the, the film is from 1971 and this is Nighttime 2 VHS. Print dates are October 12th and October 20th, 1992. Magnum Force. The film's from 1973, and this is a 1990 VHS. No print on here for some reason. But it's got this thing that says Magnum Force WHV VHS. So yeah, but no end label or print date for some odd reason. I don't think this is a Canadian copy. I mean, it is, it is legit, as you guys can see. So yeah, kind of weird that there's no uh, print date on here. The Enforcer. Films from 1976, and this is a 1987 VHS, but it's a later reprint. October 14th, October 17th, 1992. Sudden Impact. 1983 film, 1991 VHS. October 18th and October 19th, 1992. As you can tell, all these tapes were pretty much printed right around the same time. And the Deadpool. Nineteen eighty eight film, nineteen ninety one VHS. September thirtieth and November sixteenth, nineteen ninety two. So these print dates are a lot are printed a lot further apart than the other four uh, well the uh, other three tapes that had uh, print dates on them. And kinda weird the uh, print dates are almost two months apart from each other. That's weird.
so yeah <laughs> very cool uh, v VHS set right there all right <laughs> okay finally we got through all those VHS tapes now for the one surprise DVD that I got <laughs> All right, here's the one surprise DVD that I got. <laughs> yep. I know that Super Volcano X has this one as well. The episodes on this DVD are No Second Prances, To Wear and Back Again Part 1, to Wear Him Back Again Part 2, Celestial Advice, and All Bottled Up. And the bonus feature is, like most of the uh, Frenchman's Magic DVDs, a sing-along. Yep. There's the disc. And... It's got this little, uh... Magnet uh, picture frame uh, thingy that comes with, which is kind of interesting. Obviously, this is supposed to resemble the uh, the uh, crystal heart. <laughs> yep. If you guys uh, watch the show, you'll know uh, what the uh, crystal heart is. So yeah, it's got yeah whatever this little thing is and. It's got an ad for uh, uh, show uh, shows on a uh, Discovery Family, which advertises uh, Transformers Rescue Bots, Lilith's Pet Shop, and of course the most important one, the most important one of them all, uh, Friendship is Magic. <laughs> so yep, and uh, kind. Of Kind of odd that it has, uh, uh, kind of odd that it has uh, a picture of uh, Twilight without her uh, wings. Even though this DVD is supposed to be from uh, 2017. See, so, yeah, I kind of, kind of odd that it has a picture of a uh, wingless uh, Twilight. So that's that's kind of odd. See, so, yeah, it's got pre. See, so, yeah, it has a pre Alicorn, a picture of pre Alicorn uh, Twilight on there. Unlike the, uh, the disc, which actually has, uh, Alicorn Twilight on it. As well as that picture on the, uh, the back. See? See, I kind of... See, yeah, that's kind of an interesting, uh, I guess, little, uh, error right there. See, yep, and... It's got an ad for other... For, uh... My Pony Fringe Biz Magic uh, books on the back. So, very cool. So, there you go, guys. See, so, yep, I definitely think this is my longest update video in the history of ever and thank you guys for uh thank you guys for uh sitting through the whole thing so so yeah if you guys actually watch this whole video uh make sure you put down a comment below that says like uh hashtag still watching because yeah this was uh quite an insanely long uh video but, uh, well worth it because I got some really good stuff. And now I've got the fun task of, uh, putting all this stuff away. That's, that's going to be a pain. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for seeing through this extremely long update video. And I will see you guys in my next update video which 
probably won't be as long or as insane as this one, but you never know. So, again, again, leave leave a comment down below that says hashtag still watching if you guys actually set the whole uh, thing. So, so I hope you all like this video and thanks for watching, guys. Peace. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the homemade VHS of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Stro Tw Twilight, and Starlight. Which will hopefully be coming uh, sometime in the next couple weeks. So, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good one, guys. Wow, that was a long update.